hello everyone welcome once again to dada's food crave kitchen so in today's video i will be showing you how to make what we call in gambia chapati and i will explain what chapati means <laughs> some people know it as chin chin you can make a business out of this and i'll also show you how to store this okay if you are interested keep on watching and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget that post notification bell you will be one of the first to know whenever I upload a new video so without any further ado let's get cooking all right my daughter's team so today I'm making a big batch of the chapati slash chin chin I have six cups of all-purpose flour I'm gonna use two third cups of white sugar if you want it really sweet you can add one cup of sugar to that i'm going to add one fourth cup of milk powder dry powdered milk i'm using this brand pig milk yes pig milk that's what i'm using you can use any brand of your choice all right if you don't have um dry milk powder you can use evaporated milk but you want to be mindful with the liquid as well for your dough then to that i'm going to add half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of baking powder if you want it really extra crunchy you can add one teaspoon of baking powder so i added half a teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt yes so you're going to go ahead and mix all your dry ingredients and add one teaspoon of nutmeg all right yes if you don't have nutmeg you can use vanilla essence so now all our dry ingredients it's all ready to go you're going to go ahead and mix everything until it is well combined yes i mentioned that this is called chapati the reason why it's called chapati you can eat it you can take your you can um, dig your hand in it and just scoop and eat it like a peanut that's what is called chapati because it's so tiny it's like eating peanuts all right so i remember as a child in gambia they used to um serve this in um you know like when you have parties it will be like a um like appetizer it will be like it's just like snack you know when you have like a party these was the first things they would serve around in the party like i said you can um pack this for lunch and watch this video i will show you how to package it and store it as well so i added two tablespoons of room temperature butter you can add up to four tablespoons all right i want to make this as healthy as possible all right so i added two tablespoons like i said you can add up to four tablespoons of room or ice butter all right so next i'm going to go ahead and crack in two eggs and i will definitely leave the exact measurement on the description box below all right here i have 200 ml of water all right if you don't have the powdered milk you can instead using water you can use 200 ml of milk or evaporated milk to substitute with the um the powdered milk that is if you don't have powdered milk you can use milk instead of water but it has to be 200 ml all right 200 ml all right i will tell you guys in the description box what is 200 ml in cups all right just check the description box below i will put the exact measurement so that you will definitely make this recipe to the t so after adding the eggs and everything and the water like i said if you don't have powdered milk you can substitute it and uh, replace it with evaporated milk or just milk now you're gonna go ahead and use your hand and mix this don't panic Keep on mixing until all the dry ingredients is well blended. You don't see any dry flour at all into the mixture. I'm using my gloves because I have, I did my nails and my nails are long. It will not be 
too hygienic to use my hand to mix the dough because my nails are long all right so i went ahead and mixed everything like i said don't panic i thought i was gonna actually add more water but i was like nope so i didn't give up i just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and squeezing it and mixing it until i don't see any dry powder at all now when you don't see that then you know you have achieved everything all right so i'm going to go ahead and um put this aside and put it in the fridge let it chill a little bit for 20 minutes give this video a big like and i appreciate you all for watching my video i thank you all so much for watching my video i appreciate you all shout out to you all let me know where you're watching me from so that i know how far my video is getting so i'm going to go ahead and cover it actually i didn't even put it in the fridge i i i made an error there i didn't put it in the fridge i just let it sit aside for like 15 to 20 minutes you don't necessarily have to put it in the fridge so this was 20 minutes later and this is how the dough looks like so now what we're gonna do we're gonna um spread some dry um flour on the work surface and all you're gonna do is just um start um spreading the dough out all right so i'm going to go ahead meanwhile and add my oil let it start heating up a while you don't want your oil to be extremely too hot as well so i'm going to divide the dough in half i'm going to work with half and then i will work with the other half later on off camera i just wanted to show you so that you have the gist of it all right give this video a big thumbs up and i hope you guys will try this simple um snack that you can pack for lunch you can pack for the, the the school is open already what better way to make your own homemade snack you know if you're on a budget this is the way to go all right you can make it for the holidays you can make it for your family you know you can you can you can make it and just you know package it really nice and give it out you know as a gift a christmas gift snack you know so I split the dough in half, so I'm going to go ahead just simply just spread it out. All right, just spread it out. Just watch the video and follow it step by step. You will definitely achieve your chapati. <laughs> chapati. Chapati is like eating like peanuts. You know, you you chapati, you 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 take a handful and keep eating it like peanuts. That's what chapati is. Chapati. <laughs> like I said, some people know it as chin chin, but we all know what chapati is. If you grow up in Gambia, you know what chapati is. All right. It is so easy to make. Like I said again, you know, don't be intimidated. Just follow the recipe to the T and be patient with it and you will definitely achieve it. So after spreading everything on the work surface, you, surface, you wanna make sure you also rub a little bit of powder so that it don't get sticky. If you don't have um, this um, cutter that I'm using, you can use your pizza cutter or you can use a knife, all right? All you wanna do is just, you know, go down the line and go down the line and go down the line, just like I'm doing in the video and go across again. All right, that's how you cut it. All right, if you don't have a knife or if you don't want to do it this style as well, you can just, you know, take the dough with your hand. And there's another shape you can also do. You can make it round like a ball. You can just use your hand, your the palm of your hand, and just make a small ball out of it. Like you can make it round like a ball. So I went ahead and cut everything. So you wanna make sure you also add some dry flour so that it doesn't stick, all right? If you find out it's sticking, just use your hand and open it up. Like I said, rub a little bit of dry flour to it so that it doesn't stick. Meanwhile, my oil is heating up on the stove, all right? So that's how simple it is. As you can see, I rub a little bit of flour so that it doesn't stick now we're gonna go ahead and fry it now you're gonna adjust how sweet you want this how rich you want it all right you don't want to i know sometimes you can there's there's some you can make it and then when you're eating it 
it gives you like a headache or it just like there's a word in this world of defladega defladega we in so you don't want to make it too extra too rich and too sweet when you if you want to make it too extra rich that is when you, you you will use the um evaporated milk all right i did not go down that route i just use powdered milk and water all right so you want to make sure like i said your oil is not extremely hot you're going to go ahead and fry it all right until it's brown and crunchy then you're going to take it out and strain it on a paper towel watch this video to the end like i said i will show you how to store it and also if you want to make a business out of it you can definitely start your own chopati business <laughs> you know you can do a lot with this all right you can if you have a party you can make it for a snack you know you can take it to work you can do a lot this is the channel to be guys so after it's already brown i went ahead and spread it out on a paper towel let it cool down off camera like i said i did the other badge i'm going to go ahead and fry that as well give this video a big like and a big thumbs up and if you're new i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget that post notification bell you will be one of the first to know whenever i upload a new video so everything is done our chapati is done which is some people know it as chin chin yes so now it's cooled down it's delicious it's crunchy it's not on the sweet side because i did not use a lot of sugar i only used two third cup of sugar like i said if you want it really sweet you can go ahead and add one cup of sugar i will leave the exact measurement down in the description box below all right so i made a big badge because i made six cups of all-purpose flour all right so our chin chin is ready Give this video a big like and a big thumbs up and this is how everything looks like keep on watching like this video share and leave your comment down below and let me know where you're watching me from so that i know how far my video is getting it's your life music So like I said, if you want to make a business out of it, all you want to do is just grab a couple of handful and you can sell it. You can sell it. You know, you can sell this in the market. You know, you can sell it. You can just sell it. All right. Or you can just pack it this way for your snack to go to work or snack for the kids. All right. If you're on a budget, this is the best way to go. There's a lot of things you can make at home if you're on a budget. And trust me, you will have a lot. All right. So this is the channel to be start making your own homemade snack. At least you know what you put in it. You know how clean it is. So this is how it is. Like I said, you can make a business out of it and sell it. If you're in the Gambia, you can make this and sell it for like maybe five dollars <laughs> or something. So like I said, our chin chin, our chapati is ready. This is how I'm going to go ahead and store it. You want to make sure it's completely cold before you put it in a um, tight sealed jar container. So this is how I'm going to store it. And then whenever I feel like eating my snack, I go and take a handful. Right. And I hope you guys will try this recipe. I thank you all so much for watching. Until I come your way next time, I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye. She will show you everything